What's good, y'all? I'm gonna try to do this in one take because as a perfectionist, I do this too many times where I film the video and then I don't like it and then I delete it and I have to refilm it and then it just gets me so unmotivated to refilm. I need to stop doing that. I just need to get on this hustle. So here I am, <laughs> period. Hopefully if anybody sees this, it'll push them to try something new or work out, go exercise, or maybe just go smoke a joint, go exercise after that. Like as long as you're doing something to help benefit you from this video, Video, that's all I really care about. I benefited a lot from watching other people's YouTube videos due to the fact that I've seen some people go through things that I've went through and it's insanely relatable and it helps a lot. I have a joint right here for y'all. I'm gonna be smoking it while I explain what's going on. It's not a big ass joint, so I'm just gonna kind of run through the majority of it so we can just spark this up. I don't know if y'all have ever felt a little lost you know what i'm saying you're just watching everybody around you everybody's elevating or doing something different you kind of start comparing yourself to where you are to their position and that's so bad and so unhealthy i was in that situation and i was feeling super lost about myself there are times where it's like what am I doing? What do I want to do? Like, I didn't even know who I was anymore. And I just went through the motions of life. I don't know how to explain it, but the shit I know now, I really wish I could just let myself know somehow in the past to save me from a lot of things, but it's a learning experience. Everything happens for a reason, of course. But anyways, before I start rambling about that shit, if you're feeling lost, you genuinely got this. This is just a little funk. I feel like when you get like that, it's time to start self-searching. Find out something new about yourself. There's a lot of things that you're capable of that you don't even know, right? I get hella anxiety. I'm dumbass shy. That's a horrible combination. From my childhood, it stopped me from a lot. As I grew up, I was tired of living like that, you know? I felt like all the opportunities and experiences that I could have learned something from or I could have benefited from, that's totally gone now because I was so anxious and shy and just scared you know i was self-sabotaging myself i got used to that mentality it just dragged on for a very long time i'm not saying like i completely found myself at this moment right now i don't know i feel like i found something really great to put my energy into to help elevate my mindset i don't know this became so beneficial to me where it just opened my eyes to seeing more to wanting to experience more so basically i started crossfit because he's actually the one that pushed me to go. Now I literally go almost every fucking day. That's my shit. I love CrossFit. And on top of that, I even gym with my girls in the morning sometimes. So doing CrossFit is actually, dang, I don't want to be dramatic and say life changing, but I mean, it did change a lot of things, especially my mentality, my confidence. Like, I don't know. I used to be so self-conscious to show my arms and it's like, bro, I don't even give a fuck. It just happened so bad. At first, it was me and my boyfriend's sister Jazz. And we were going, not every day, but we did the three times a week membership. We did not miss one day. All right, let's spark this real quick, okay? Cheers. jasmine at first and we were doing three times a week and we literally went every single three days we had to at first it was super nerve-wracking every time when i started a new experience like i said i struggled with anxiety and being hella shy so most of the time i would just buy you would never fucking see me but it felt easier having a buddy because i'm an only child and activities or hobbies or whatever i usually had to enter them alone it gets nerve-wracking being alone not having a buddy being that new person that just sucks the thing i hate most is when everybody's super experienced and you're the only newbie ever since i experienced this gym it's 
it stopped me from kind of thinking a little bit negative instead of thinking about what if it gets awkward or what if I don't like it since I found out that I really like this shit it's like what else will I like what else can I try it really opened up my mind to wanting to do a lot I knew after the first day we had to keep going to keep a momentum and we did. The next month, we started doing Unlimited because we got insanely addicted. Jasmine, I'm so fucking proud of you. This girl right here, she has been showing results. Results and results because she's consistent. Putting in that work equals results okay she literally changed her diet she kept going to the gym every single day every time i wanted to go i always text in the group chat gym yes she's always down you feel me i'm all about that consistency once i keep working out i don't like to stop it just gets so unmotivating it makes me uncomfortable you know what i'm saying it makes me feel like i'm missing something i really hope everybody prioritizes their health and their fitness life because it will benefit you in the future I can't put together the words, but I'm really hoping you guys understand from my energy and where I'm coming from. See, there's something about recording myself that gets me hella shy, and then I just, I lose what I'm trying to say. Yeah, Jasmine, she's been showing a lot of results. I think she was 188, I believe. Recently, she weighed herself again, and I think she's around 150. In two months, she lost 30 plus pounds. But before she even started CrossFit, she just started eating really good. She started eating really healthy. She started really paying attention to what she's feeding her body. After me and Jasmine have been going for a month, we switched to Unlimited, right? And so that is when we started going with Jordan and Cassie. So then our duo became a quartet. Till this day, I'm impressed as fuck because the fact that they kept going consistently, especially with me and Jasmine, I feel like it's easier because we're in a group and I'm really glad it's easier because I want them to keep pushing themselves so they can see what the fuck they're capable of. Dude, that's what I'm trying to explain. Like one time me and Jasmine had to do five rounds. Jasmine was getting gassed out her third round. I fucking know her. She could fucking do one more. I was pushing her, I was pushing her. I know she was pissed. I know she was pissed, but I don't give a fuck. I'm like, bitch, you did four rounds. You you were gonna give up on three you feel me if you gave up you wouldn't even know that you were capable of doing four rounds like bro you're a boss and you don't even know that shit well now she does because she's been working so good shit to you sis jordy and cassie you could totally see their form getting better and better and better each time we go i'm telling you they're really putting in that work i know at first they weren't really into it because it's like it's something new you know what i'm saying that's why i'm trying to make this video to let you guys know it's okay to try something new and be scared about it it's all good sometimes you just gotta pull through with it boss the fuck up and do something that benefits you through life you know i really hope you guys start trying to do something new because i'm not even gonna lie after this i do want to start dabbling in mma i've been really paying attention to muay thai and kickboxing because my boyfriend started doing muay thai him and his dad they go to csa and hearing their experiences makes me want to go you know also one of my girls from high school alizé alizé perez oh my god girl you are a badass you train so fucking hard but she told me that she's been doing that since seven years old she's been doing mma since she was seven years old i think that's so fucking dope because she found her passion in the way she was telling me about csa she was insanely passionate about that but also go check out my instagram because i have a lot of the igtv videos <laughs> they keep getting longer and longer because i like to show cassie and jordan and jasmine on there so they could see their form and really like see for themselves how they look and try to fix what they want to fix you know what i'm saying because that's how i kind of learned i kept recording my I found that I have this really bad habit of looking down. I really need to start looking straight But it's so awkward though because there's always somebody in front of me <laughs> Seek yourself to make yourself better. Don't judge yourself negatively So if you're trying to tell somebody you care about a way to help them to get better with their form and stuff like that Speak to yourself the same fucking way it's more easier said than done i totally understand that i don't know i just really hope you guys get motivated from this video i really do everyone that i met there is amazing they are so sweet the first time me and jasmine entered the building they were screaming and grunting and i'm like 
Bitch, I think we went to the wrong fucking place. Fucking birthday. glad we pushed ourselves and i'm really glad we're continuing to do this and i'm starting to see results i'm trying to eat better that's the hard part the diet <laughs> so i haven't been filming every single class just because i just want to focus on my workout sometimes because when i record i always like i want to make sure everybody's in picture just so i could zoom in on their forms and all that stuff so they can really pay attention to how they are and, and um try to continue to improve themselves because it's really all in the form y'all i cannot stress Cassie and Jordy, they really pushed themselves to try something new and I'm super proud of them for that. Honestly, I never even would have thought that they would really be into CrossFit. And I think that's so fucking dope how we could just come together and work out and just fucking vibe. It's just been really fun. I really hope you guys will find a new experience for yourselves because damn, you know, like dead ass, I wouldn't even know and I would be into CrossFit. Like, who wouldn't know? Try something new and get to know yourself. You may be good at something that you don't even know you would have been good at. I feel like you should go about life as always being a student. There are some of the videos and you guys can totally see improvements from these girls. Like, they are hustling. Ever since CrossFit, I've been back to the fitness life and I'm going back to the gym. I'm starting to go with my girl Malia. And I love going with Malia because she really pushes herself too. And she loves learning new things too. Like, ah, that's so fucking dope because we vibe at the same thing. Sometimes people don't like that push. And honestly, I would never expect Malia to like the push, you know? She really go hard. She really does try to keep up with me. And I love that energy because it's like we push each other. We motivate each other. We're trying to make each other better. Isn't it nice living life to better yourself and shaping yourself into the person that you've always wanted to be? You can really inspire somebody just based off a story. I can't even tell you how many times people inspired me. That little story can get me to want to go to the gym. I could go to the gym, do my workout, after my workout, I feel good because nobody has ever said they never felt good after a workout. Me, Jasmine, Cassie, and Jordy, we just conversate for hours, literally hours after the gym. Me and Malia, we would, we are literally at the gym for four hours. It's such good energy where you're having a good time bettering yourself. Try to always keep bettering yourself no matter what moves you gotta do. In the end, you got you, you know? you can't depend your happiness on anybody else let's say i can't even go to the gym or cassie and jordan can't go to the gym that shouldn't stop jasmine from going to the gym same with cassie if all of us are out cassie go to the gym like i know for a fact that they will be confident enough to just show up to them classes alone right they're gaining confidence you know and i see it i see it in them all the girls they're like keeping their heads up when they talk they're doing more eye contact than they usually would you know I'm proud of them you know they're trying to better themselves that's just that's what you do yeah i think that's it y'all thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video go ahead and leave a like down below it really helps your girl with the algorithm don't forget to subscribe support your girl <laughs> hit that subscribe button for more week content fitness content vlog content i just i'm just coming out with the flow i got so many ideas y'all you don't even yeah, I'm just trying to better myself and really go for what I want to do in life. It's scary. I'm not gonna lie Like sometimes I'm just like what the fuck are you doing? Like are you sure you want to do this? But it's like yes, I want to do this I want to make life the way I want to make my life. I don't want people telling me how to live my life I don't want people telling me what to do in my life. Like I want to live it the way I want to live it Alright y'all thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a like down below It helps me with the algorithm and go ahead and subscribe support your girl Okay, I'm coming at y'all with hella other videos. I got so much in store for you guys. I think that's all I say, you know? Because I don't really have like a set spoken intro or a set spoken outro. So I'm just honestly just going with the flow. I've been doing this video thing for hella long. Well, not hella long, but it's really long for me. And I still be feeling awkward with it. <laughs> if you watch my videos, I really do appreciate you because...
I didn't know it was that interesting. <laughs> I also downloaded Steezy. Steezy is this dance app and I'm not gonna lie, I was only trying to do it for the one week free subscription. I ended up falling in love with it because it's all the dance classes that I wanna take. I probably gotta find some classes, some teachers for some one-on-ones because I feel like that's the best type of class, you know? One-on-ones, that's the best way to learn, but um, I'm gonna take whatever I could get just to further my knowledge and everything I wanna do. I'm just gonna keep continuing my journey. Then we'll see where I'm at in a couple months. <laughs> Progress pictures will be available maybe when we're more towards our goal just not right now we're still in the progress so just stay tuned for it okay it's coming just give us some time <laughs> we have to put in that work first so yeah all right y'all bye